Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video we have Star-Lord versus Aegon in Realm of Legends and we're gonna complete all of the fights so that we can see who is faster and it's getting pretty close at the end. So yeah, tell me in the comments below who do you think is gonna be faster before you watch the video. But yeah, the synergies that we brought are Nick Fury with Deadpool X Force so that we can remove our bleed from suicides at the start of the fight and gain some healing and keep us topped up for all of this run. Then we got with Captain Marvel movie, so we gain 20% more duration on our fury effects. So yeah, both of those champions gain fury, so it's pretty good. And then we brought in, who else? Quake for the three charges. And yeah, that's it. Nick Fury provides all of that. And yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, and also Nick Fury gives 10% more attack to both champions. So yeah, as we can see right here, we Aegon, we have 60 hits and he's got 77%. And for Star-Lord, we have 60 hits and he's got 45%. So yeah, Aegon is very slow for the first fights. So you actually want to stall the fights as much as you want or as much as you can because you need some hits for the next fights and yeah that's why we use sp3s in the first couple of fights because we get the stun and then we can like medium medium get some hits for the next fight so yeah that's pretty good so star lord is about to take down winter soldier he's got two percent we didn't get lucky with the crit on the sp on an sp1 but yeah he's down and Dagon has still 52% to take down. So yeah, he's doing... Star-Lord is doing pretty good right here. And yeah, now we will throw another SP3 with Aegon. As you can see with in Star-Lord we got the regeneration kit, which removed our bleed, and we got like 5-10% health. But yeah, it's pretty good. It's a nice synergy. That's where you want your Deadpool X Force actually <laughs> for that synergy. But yeah, we got the stun with Aegon. We are doing medium, medium three times. And then we are doing medium, light, light, medium. And then we're doing another six hit combo. So yeah, you, after the SP3, the stun is so long and you can build up to like one bar and a half from the stun. So that's crazy. And now we're using the last SP3 with Aegon. We got 160 hits, 66 hits. And yeah, we're doing pretty good. So Captain Marvel has 50%. Now we're starting to use some special twos. Although we used a lot of SP3s with Star-Lord because yeah, I was scared I was gonna lose on like Scarlet Witch fight. I was gonna lose a lot of health, but we did not. So yeah, it could have been a little bit faster with Star-Lord. But there we go, Aegon took down Winter Soldier, finally. And like we have 140 something hits in. And yeah, Captain Marvel is down with Star-Lord, but Aegon is just starting. So yeah, the Juggernaut fight is the worst for both of those champions, especially with with Star-Lord because I don't know he was throwing specials right off the bat so that's that's pretty annoying we don't want that unstoppable because we can't nullify it but yeah as you can see with Aegon we have the full yellow bar because we remove suicides and with the regeneration kit it's pretty good get the healing for him as well now we're using an sp3 and he she's got 70% or 69% and I think in this fight we use two sp3s so you can see the difference in the damage even from the first to the second fight but yeah look at this it's done and Juggernaut has 83% for Star-Lord and there he threw the sp2 and after that after the unstoppable goes away he uses another sp1 that's pretty annoying but Aegon uses another SP3 
And I don't think we use another SP3. I think we use SP2 to finish her off. Or maybe, maybe we don't activate a special at all. We're gonna have to see. So right there with Star Lord, I thought I had an SP2 and we accidentally used an SP1. So yeah, Aegon is catching up. Star Lord, because Star Lord is doing so bad on that Juggernaut fight. We were a little bit unlucky, to be honest. So are we using an SP2 on Captain Marvel? No, maybe not. Oh, we're using another SP3, or maybe we, we don't activate it. Yeah, I don't think we will. Because we don't want to waste time, basically. So, yeah. Captain Marvel has 5%, 3, 2, and there she goes. 139 hits. Aegon has like 300 hits now, I think. So, yeah, I can't really see, but he's almost at 300, I think. And now we're gonna use the SP2 with Star Lord, and this Juggernaut fight is down. We didn't even have to use the SP2. And yeah, Juggernaut is down for Star Lord, and Again, for Aegon, it's just starting. But this fight for Starlord is actually so good. This Rhino played so, so good. I think he only threw like two SP2s in all of the fight. So this guy, it was pretty nice, pretty nice. As you can see, we're just hitting parries left and right all of the time with Starlord here in the Rhino matchup. But yeah, it's pretty fun. We were aggressive and all that stuff. Yeah, that's probably the best fight for Star Lord. Not because he's got like some class advantage, but we were lucky. Didn't throw a lot of specials. So yeah, Aegon is doing some pretty good damage right now. After this fight, he's gonna do crazy damage. And yeah, we are starting to get the Furies. That's why. So. Yeah, after that, he's doing a great job. But yeah, with Star-Lord, we almost have Rhino down. We got a crit on a special 2. He's got 22%, and he only has used an SP2. So that's just great. You can just not bait special attacks. So good. And there, his second SP2. But we're going to use our SP2, and this guy is down. So again, Aegon finished Juggernaut, and he's going to Rhino, but Star-Lord has already finished Rhino. And in the next match, Star-Lord has Clash Advantage, so he will do more damage, a lot more damage. But also Aegon has Clash Advantage in his Rhino matchup. But yeah, we're hitting like 10k already <coughs> with Aegon. So yeah, and we actually didn't even have to, didn't even have to use those evade charges. We didn't get hit at all. So yeah, it's a pretty good speed run. And also we didn't use any boosts, so it's just suicides and the synergies. So nothing, nothing like that. No boosts. And look at this SP3 with Star Lord. Hit for 58,000 because we got the armor break. And now we're dealing so much damage. 12,000 on that medium attack and 13,000. And Aegon, we are using SP2s right now. And we get the bleed. Takes for 3.5 thousand per tick. And Rhino is already down. So yeah, Aegon is catching up to Star Lord pretty quick right now. But Starro has a good lead, to be honest. So Aegon is going for Storm. And I think we're about to use an SP2 on Star Lord. And she will go down, hopefully. And yeah, we throw the SP2. She didn't die, though. But one hit, throw the parry, and that's it. So after that, for Star Lord, we have Synthesis or <laughs> Vision with the syn Synthesis. <laughs> and yeah, this is not a bad matchup for Star-Lord at all, but for Aegon it's gonna be a little bit because he's immune to bleed and we can't use the SP2 because it would be a waste. 
and we are about to use like I think one sp3 on that vision when we get with to him with with Aegon. So yeah, Aegon is hitting like a truck right now, even though he's got flash disadvantage. 10k crit on that sp2, and this blade for 3,000. That's crazy. Aegon is so good, but Star Lord is doing a fantastic job as well. So we're gonna throw an SP2 with Aegon, I think, and that Storm. And she's gonna go down. She's got 4, 3, 2%, and the bleed will finish her off. We got the recoil damage, but that's okay. We can heal it from the synergy with Deadpool X Force. And Vision has 60%. And Star Lord is doing crazy damage as well. Right there we block the SP2 because it doesn't do any damage, but we gain some power. So right here I decided to throw an SP3 with Starlord because he had a lot of health and we already lost like 20% of our health. And after that we have Black Panther and Scarlet Witch and Scarlet Witch can be can be really tough if you if you're unlucky. But Aegon uses his SP3 because, again, Vision is immune to bleed, so it wouldn't be that good to use an SP2. But Star Lord is about to finish Vision off after this SP2, and he's down. And Aegon has 50% left to take down. So yeah, it's, it's pretty good, doing pretty good. Star Lord is very nice because like Aegon is such a beast. And yeah, Star Lord, still a good champion, man. And of course, those champions are 200 sick, so yeah, it's pretty fair. But there we have Black Panther, and this fight is also not too bad. It's got nothing, not so long animations, so yeah, it's pretty good. And Aegon has 13% left. And then after the stun we use the SP1 and it's just about enough. So 100 hits in that fight. And we had like 200 on the first, I think. So it's pretty crazy. And how many hits do we have? I think we have about 500. I can't really see, but I think it's 517. If I'm not mistaken, but maybe I am. So both of those champions are pretty close and Black Panther for Starlord has 70% and for Aegon he's got 90%. So yeah, it's getting pretty close. Aegon is catching up, but yeah. And Starlord is actually doing pretty good on that Wolverine fight and I didn't expect to do that good. He's got class advantage, but Wolverine has that crazy regen. And for Aegon it's so easy because like you reduce his ability accuracy and he never activates regeneration. But yeah, Starlord did a good job. Get a big crit on that SP2, 23,000 with Starlord. And yeah, looks like Starlord is about to take down Black Panther faster than Aegon. He's got 6% for Starlord and 22% for Aegon. And there he goes. With Star Lord, he's down. So yeah, now we have the Scarlet Witch fight, which is a little bit annoying for Star Lord because yeah, we get power drain, poison, and stuff. Can't crit that much. But there goes Black Panther for Aegon as well. And yeah, Aegon is so good for Scarlet as well. Because you reduce your ability accuracy. Two, and you don't you do so many crits, but it doesn't matter. So I think in this fight we activate the power drain for Aegon, the power drain of Scarlet Witches, and only her bars are power drained. So yeah, that's pretty nice. We trigger her power gain, and it only works for her. So yeah, I'll take it. We get two weakness for Star Lord. That's pretty bad. And yeah. So Aegon is now beating Star-Lord, it's 
Scarlet Witch has 65% and for Starless got 68. So there we go, Aegon finally at the first place. And yeah, as you can see, she is. So she's got 40%. That's pretty nice. Aegon is just when he's built up, he is like one of the best champions, if not the best. But yeah, for me, it's pretty boring to like build him up, so I don't really use him if unless it is like Labyrinth of Legends or Abyss, because there you have to use him. But yeah, he's a fun champion when he's built up, he's definitely a lot more fun. So we took down Scarlet Witch with Aegon, and now we did with Starlord as well. So let's see how Aegon will do on that Wolverine match. And yeah, with Starlord, I don't know if we were lucky, but it got some crazy damage. I think with Starlord, what we do is we build up to our to our 100 hit, so we're not activating specials because we don't want to waste time. And after we get to 100 hits, we're using our SP3 because then we have some good damage to like out damage his region. And with Hagon, he's got 40%. Now the bleed is taking for 3000 per tick. So yeah, Aegon is just amazing when he's built up. So we are, I think, 600 hits right now. And yeah, Aegon finished Wolverine and Starlord has got like 100% health for Starlord. So yeah, that's where Aegon shines for that Wolverine fight. And yeah, then for Aegon we got Black Bolt. So Black Bolt, we want him to use his SP2s because he takes damage. It's like a recoil. I think he, get, he takes like 13,000 two times. So like about 27,000 whenever he uses it. So that's pretty nice. Right here, we have 95 hits with Star Lord. We want to get the parry and then use the SP3 so that we can go in after that. If we get like an armor break or a heal block. And yeah, it should be nice. So Aegon is about to finish that Black Bolt. After another SP2, he's gonna go down. But look at his damage with Starlord, 19,000 from that medium, and he's only got 110 hits. That's just crazy damage. So Aegon has less damage actually, but he crits more. That's why he's, he's crazy. And he took down that Black Bolt, but look at that, 20,000. And we got a crit with Starlord, 99,000. That's just crazy damage. And right there I was confident and we got the crit with the SP1 as well, 60,000. He wasn't even built up, Starlord. So yeah, he got like 120 hits and we got a 99, almost 100,000 crit on that SP2. That's just awesome. And then the last match for Aegon, we have 750 hits or more. And yeah, we have class advantage. Look at his bleed, 3.8 per tick. And we have a solvable as well. We can go in a little bit faster. But look at that 10k with that medium. Yeah, Aegon. After those hits, they, he melts their opponent. So, yeah, there we go. Aegon finished in 19 and 12 seconds. So, yeah, it's not, it's a nice time. But, you know, Aegon, we had like the first five minutes or so were bad because we had to build him up. He had to go like above 250 hits because we need the Fury. And yeah, with Black Bolt here, we want to bait as many SP2s as we can for Starlord because yeah, he takes damage. How much is it actually? Let's just see if he's going to use it. I don't know if he will. Probably not. 
Oh, I think we're gonna use the sp2 first and then we will bait, bait his sp2. So he takes, yeah, like I said, 13,600 two times, so about 27,000. But we use the sp1, he's got 3%, we will bait his special and he's down. So now we have the last fight for Star Lord. And yeah, I mean, I'm happy for the results. I expected, before I did this video, I expected for Aegon to win for like five to six minutes, but he only won for two minutes. So it's not bad. Starlord is a beast, man. But yeah, not too many people to use him because yeah, Aegon can do the same stuff. But yeah, Starlord is pretty fun. And that Wolverine fight, we popped off because yeah, we had that big crit. It was so satisfying and we needed that to try to beat Aegon. So yeah, he's got Hulk has 70% and yeah, it was a pretty fun video to make and I hope you guys enjoy it as well because yeah, it was pretty fun making it and yeah, we are almost, almost finished. Hulk has 50% right now. I think we will use another another SP2 and we will get a big crit. Yeah, 20 and 74,000. Oh my god. Look at this crit. Almost above 100k for like 70 hits. And right there we weren't that lucky with the SP1 because we had the armor break. We might have been able if we crit. But there we go. We finished Realm of Legends. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.